testing of medical devices, making the devices testable, and making the systems that test the devices. It's core to everything that we do. Testability in the medical device context uh, is a very important concept. Uh, medical devices, especially those of higher safety classes, meaning their potential to hurt people if they malfunction, and that's, that's a concept baked into the FDA and other regulatory bodies around the world. There's an assessment that's made of how dangerous could this thing be if it malfunctioned or ceased to work. And so in the higher safety classes, testability is critical because we're making things that get implanted into people's bodies. So every single device gets tested at multiple stages. During the design of the device, allowance needs to be made for those eventual tests that need to be performed on the manufacturing line. So this includes things like the circuit board will include uh, special dedicated points where we can make electrical connection and test out features and functions of the board and the electronics. And the design uh, of, of the finished device may have uh, certain elements in it that facilitate testing the device. And that's really what we're talking about with testability, is facilitating those steps of the manufacturing process that prove that the device you just built works as intended. You need the equipment to test. So that's where, again, you rely on the design side to say, I want to see those protocols, those test protocols. I want to know what equipment I need so that I can repeat the rigor that you guys put it through because when you submit something to the FDA, they want to know that you've done 100% verification on the design, which is on just a sample of maybe one or three or whatever the, the math tells them, right? But here, if you're building thousands, right, you're not going to, you know, test every single thing unless the design side says, no, guys, everything is a risk, right? Everything is bloody, everything is bleeding edge. You need to test everything. Well, then you need to know, okay, I need five pieces of test equipment. I need a machine shop. I need a laser welder. I need, you know, I need, the, I need I, this is the, the environment I need. I need a clean room. You know, I need to make sure that the humidity temperature is all properly maintained, right? So all of that stuff has to be qualified. So there's things like installation, you know, there's operation, right? So you install the equipment, you qualify it to make sure it's installed correctly hardware, software that goes on it, you know, the operators are trained, right? So there's a lot of stuff that goes underneath and then you can start building the product. And then you can make sure that, the, that what you build is correct. So that, that's a validation, right, of, okay, you know, verified, did we meet requirements? Validation, did we build the right thing? It's so ingrained in us that it's hard for me to even imagine not making a device testable because it's such a critical element of the manufacturing process. It, and maybe that's born out of the early days of the company. That's primarily the service that we provided was actually designing these manufacturing test systems for our clients. It's one of our major lines of service in the early days and continues to be so.